Hey guys, that's over here. So today I'm going to be doing episode 2 of the weapon review series. So for today's episode, we're going to be going over the pain. If you guys don't know, pain is a machine gun. It goes up to 3 levels. I believe it is about 2,500 gold to completely max out the pain. Uh, there you guys can see the power. Its ability does a lot more damage when it's on fire or ice compared to when it's not. So if you guys have someone with like a porcupine or a ranger or maybe a sting, incinerator jack frost you guys know what i'm saying you guys definitely want to partner it up you guys can see a lot of damage done i believe it's about 650 damage when someone's on fire on ice and around 450 when they're not also this is easily the best machine gun annihilator is just not close and it's more expensive i do not do not do not recommend you guys buy the annihilator please do not buy it it's, it can't compare to the pain but if you guys want some cheaper options you guys can buy the jack frost you guys can see it costs a hundred thousand gun bucks and then about 700 gold to upgrade it. And another good option is a Hurricane. I'm pretty sure you guys know about that one. Very cheap, but very good. Definitely worthwhile. So now I'm going to get into the gameplay of it. So this gun, it has good distance, just like other machine guns. It's not very accurate, but if you guys stay standing, the little, I don't know what to call it, maybe like the scope sort of, or the little accuracy square, it'll get smaller and smaller. So you guys do not want to run while shooting this. You guys will see a big difference in accuracy. It's a lot like the Destroyer. So we're going to be playing on Old Factory. That's a pretty good map. You guys can see like there's this, it's a big square in the middle. So on the sides, I could just use a pain. I'm going to try to use a pain a lot more than usual in these episodes. But if I do pull out some other guns, it's probably because I'm trying to win. And also, I am doing this live. So I might stutter a little bit here. This is the problem. You don't want to step up too close. Oh, I did not get a headshot, so I didn't get 27 points. Hopefully my teammate can put him on fire. Oh, there was a guy behind me. So you guys can see 425 damage, base body damage. It doesn't really get lower when someone gets close, like maybe like a sniper or something. It'll always stay around 425, but you guys should definitely not stay close. Oh, hopefully my teammate can finish him. Oh, that's really, really, really unfortunate. So we are down 100 points here. I'm not sure if we're playing a clan. I believe we're playing solo. I don't know where this guy went. Oh, and this guy, I'll get that kill. I don't think this guy's coming back from up top. I'm going to go flank with the porcupine. Turn around. Oh, I thought I saw someone there. No? Okay. So there's a guy up here. He has a juggernaut. I'm not going to challenge. That's a problem sometimes. It's like the destroyer that you can't move with it. Oh, I missed my sniper shot. So we are down about 80 points. Definitely not good. Uh, let me see if I can get a headshot. I got the headshot. This is actually something I like to do a lot. Just try to go for the headshot and pull out the pain. Even if you're weak, you'll do a lot. I was able to get a killing speed right there. So we are making a comeback. Oh, man, I didn't see that guy coming. Not sure what my team is doing, but hopefully at least I'll be able to end up first place. Let's see. Yeah, this team is pushing us a lot. It's kind of hard with the pain. I'm going to just pull out a porcupine here. Yeah, so do not stick with the pain close range versus shotguns. You will not win it. This is meant for long range. This is not a good map for it since they're pushing like crazy. Oh, but this is, I'm going to show you guys the damage when it's on fire. 637, that's insane. So maybe you just pull out a porcupine ranger back up and then pull out your pain. You guys will see a lot of damage done. Oh, uh, and he did get me there. So we are down 70 points. I don't think we'll be able to come and win away with the win in this game. I'm going to keep these episodes at one game. But definitely, guys, I definitely recommend. But probably not as your solo gun. If you just have one, you only have time for one gold gun. Get yourself a ranger, but if you have time for two, if you can't get yourself a juggernaut and only a destroyer, I definitely recommend the pain over the destroyer, just for the damage difference, it's it's so, so good, and I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure the pain is more expensive, but there's only three level upgrades, I'd have to check, because I don't, I can't really check the level upgrade since, or the price of the upgrade since I already have the both these weapons, I was able to get a headshot, maybe, 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 oh, see, this guy's a pain, I have no idea where they're at. Let's see, maybe they're middle. 60 points down. It'd be really nice if we can make a comeback. I'm actually going to pick up this juggernaut. No. Oh, I missed my shot. That was my fault. So 90, 80 points around there. Hopefully. But also, guys. Oh, wow. You guys see this glitch? You guys saw me die as soon as I picked up the juggernaut. There's something that I've been trying to tell the devs about. I guess it worked out for me because I really like the juggernaut, but still... Fortunately, I died. But that's a pretty big glitch when you just, if you got a gun that you really want to use, if you see someone with it, 
on the other team, just try to pick it up right before you die, and you'll most likely spawn with it. As you guys can see right there, hap that happened to me a lot of times. It's good to pick up Juggernauts. I might actually pick this up. Did I pick it up in time? I don't think I did. 80 points down. Oh, see, there you are. It happened again. So just guys, if you guys want to do that, definitely do it. It's something good that everyone should know about. 80 points. I know there's a guy right here. Oh, and I didn't get to pull out. My Juggernaut in time. 100 points. At least I ended up on top of my team. I know I didn't get to use the paint too much in this game. I was able to do decent for you guys, but I was just trying to win, but it doesn't look like it was going to happen. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, have any weapons that you guys want me to do next, hopefully I can get this kill. Right there. Combo breaker, I'll take that. They're about one kill away, so maybe someone. One more kill with the pain, come on. Oh, oh yeah, that's not good. And 612 headshot damage. Very solid. So, um, pain, I'd give it. 10 out of 10 for machine gun. Easily the best one you can buy. Would 100% would recommend. Definitely good. 75 bullets. You can get triple and quadra kills with this gun with all the ammo it has. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Appreciate all the support on my recent videos. And thank you guys so, so much for 300 subscribers. See ya.